I'm Senator Betsy Close. Um, I'm opposed to Senate Bill 281. Colleagues, an old saying, count the cost. Before you do anything, count the cost. I would urge you to do so on this bill and others we are considering regarding marijuana use. Please consider the other side of this. Having been a teenager when marijuana first appeared in mass in the late 60s, I have seen the devastation of the long-term effects of chronic marijuana use. For example, a close relative of mine who is nearing old age was a Phi Beta Kappa in Wisconsin. He got a BA, very bright man. And he was in graduate school in California when he began to smoke dope. At 40, he could no longer add. And he now has COPD, a bron bronchitis emphysema disease that is fatal. There is no cure. He was never able to conceive a child, and he lives on Social Security. Marijuana does damage the body and especially the brain. I'd like to call your attention to re a research article that I have kept for years, for decades. I give it out to young people, teenagers mostly, I know who are smoking marijuana. It has two parts. It's called Marijuana Alert, Brain and Sex Damage, and Marijuana Enemy of Youth. It summarizes research that was done many years ago, but I don't know why it wouldn't be true today because the marijuana is even stronger now. Uh, the International Symposium on Marijuana was held in Reims, France in 1978. It included 50 researchers from 14 countries. And they presented studies about marijuana's injurious effects on reproduction, lungs, cell cellular metabolism, and the brain. In 1979, there was a conference in Virginia sponsored by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, which revealed more evidence of harmful effects on the reproductive system. And three months later, there was one done New York University Medical School, dangers caused by chronic smoking of marijuana. Just to very brief, briefly summarize, I know we're out of time. The, one of the problems is that um, marijuana is often compared to alcohol, that they're the same. They are not. Alcohol is water soluble, if you remember from your chemistry in high school. THC is fat soluble. It is stored in the fat tissues of the body for many years. And the main organ that has fat surrounding it is the brain and also the sex organs. Um, this research found that with brain scans and brain scan and uh, research that was done on Reese's monkeys, that the synapse in the brain began to widen and there, there is brain damage. Um, and, and it is, this is all in the article so I won't go into detail. Uh, the reproductive organs are affected, the sperm count goes down, the number of ovaries, uh, the number of um, eggs that are released by women decreases, that would explain why my relative was never able to conceive a child. And this is all documented by research. So in conclusion, you know, are we going to go from PTSD to COPD? Is that the answer here? Um, it has been said today, let's save the soldiers who fought for you. Does this save them? I, I'm not sure that's true. I want them to have a better life. I don't want them to depend on drugs the rest of their lives. I grieve, over, as we all do, over the rapes, the abuses, the terror of combat. My father was a World War II vet. But are drugs our only solution for our deep problems? Is this the best we can do? There are other therapies than drugs. Are we pursuing those? Are our vets going to be more safe and protected? We have to answer that question. Um, all drugs have side effects. This drug has documented brain damage and sex damage. And that is our decision here. Uh, possible sterility, sterility. And lives that ne are never realize the great potential that is in them. And that is the sadness that I feel. Thank you very much.